it's Alexis. Welcome back to my YouTube page. Wow, that was a bit corny, wasn't it? Anyways, I'm going to be showing you that. I'm going to be filming this quick little shortish video for you guys. At least I think it's going to be short. It's my face, like my face wash routine and like how I keep my face clear and how I keep it healthy and everything. And I just wanted to show you guys real quick what I use and kind of explain my routine and what I do on the side to do it. So... I'm going to go for a day when I am not wearing makeup, like when it's just pretty much a chill, hangout, cool day. I will wait. I usually take showers at night. So usually when I take a shower at night, I always wash my face. And I use the Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser. This is the only face wash I have used that has completely cleared up my face. And it keeps it soft and it hardly ever breaks out, breaks out. And it keeps my face from like inflaming and getting red. And that, that I really, really like that. So if you're trying to look for a good face wash and you're still trying to test them out, go try Cetaphil, please. It is a bit more on the pricier side, but it is completely worth it. I get mine at Walgreens. You could get it at your local drugstore. And this is just what it looks like. So at nighttime, I'm going to get in the shower. After I apply my shampoo in my hair, I like to get really hot water and open up my pores. And then I wash my, I put it on my face and then I leave it on my face until I'm right about to get out of the shower. And I turn the water really cold and I wash my face off with that. And then when I get out of the shower, I put on my oil control moisturizer and it's also Cetaphil. Because this is one of the lines that I have thought that really helps me and really works out. And this moisturizer, my mom was forcing me to use it and I am completely risky with moisturizers. But moisturizers, because every moisturizer I have ever used in my entire life has completely made me break out. And it just irritates my soul. I'm just like, why? Why? You're supposed to moisturize my skin, not mess it up. But this is the moisturizer I use, and it is obviously a genius, and it works amazing, and I love it. And it makes my face really soft. So this is just pretty much what I do on a, um, bleh, on a night basis when I am not wearing makeup. If I am wearing makeup, before I get in the shower, I like to get just an eye makeup remover pad and I just remove my mascara because I tend to learn when you use mascara in the shower and try and wipe it off. It doesn't really come off good. I do use baby soap if I do forget, but I have tended to learn it's better to take it off before. So when I am wearing makeup, instead of using that face wash, I use the oil control foam wash and it's just this foam wash and it's a face wash also, but it's used to remove excess oil and makeup and I really like it. So it's just like a foamer one and you have to get more of it and foam it into your face and I just use all that. But, and then after I do that, if my face seems to be a little more broken out than usual, um, I will put some of this face wash on after. And then I rinse it off right away though because I don't want to like um, clog my pores with so much face wash. Even though this doesn't clog your pores, if you use like, lots of face wash then it will. And then I just apply my oil control moisturizer after like I do with the other one. In the morning, usually since I take a shower at night, before I do my makeup in the morning, I just go on with my Cetaphil Daily Facial Cleanser, and I like to get a towel in the sink, a really, really hot towel, like, you know, when you get the water hottest, and I like to fill the sink up and then put my towel in there, and then, like, do it, like, a few, three times, and make sure my pores are really open, since they don't open as fast as they do in the shower. Then I like to open my pores and wash my face, and I usually leave it on for, like, five minutes or so, because I like it to set in my face, and then I go in with really, really cold water, and I wash it off, and then I just apply my moisturizer, and I do my makeup like normal. So that's just pretty much everything I use to wash my face and how I do it. Um, and now, like, to keep your skin clear, how I do it, drink lots of water. I like to drink at least, like, five bottles a day. And I have an example of one right here. This is just what it looks like. It's just a green water bottle. It's You could have any average size water bottle. And I usually have another really big one, which is, like, three cups. But this one's, like, equal to a cup. And I like to drink, like, five of these at least in one day. At least five of them. And um, I also like to apply lemons in my water because it also helps with your skin and the vitamins and all that. And uh, sometimes one day out of the week I like to do this um, coconut oil sugar lemon scrub. I actually left it downstairs so I can't show you guys it. But it's an amazing exfoliating scrub that you can make at home DIY. If you guys would like to see a video on how to make it be sure to give it a thumbs up. And um, all I do is apply that to my face and it gets all the skin cells off and it clears your face completely. I am not lying to you guys. It cleared my face up overnight and it's really an amazing worker. So I'll do that once a week just to make sure. So I guess it's kind of like another extra thing I do. But it's really cheap. It's all under like $3 honestly you can make it. And that's just pretty much everything I do for my face routine and how I keep my skin clear. My skin clear. And I'm sorry I cannot talk in this video at all. 
But I hope you guys liked this video and it gave you a little help. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you guys would like to see the DIY scrub. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!